everyone, David Allen Nerve Guy here. I really like Shell Ejecting Blaster and I really like Pistol Blaster. So I had to take a look at this thing. And it's not very promising. Welcome to Tag. This is a Shell Ejecting Blaster, a copy of a Glock. I don't even know how this thing made its way here because uh, here in Canada we're not supposed to have a weapon replica. I don't know to which point this is a replica but it says Glock on the box. As you can see the box is a little beat up. Uh, it makes weird sound. This is a shell ejecting pistol with some unique very tiny round. Uh, let's open it. Have a good laugh because I'm not expecting stellar performance or anything out of this thing. This box is light. It was declared a pound on the shipping note. And I'm not even sure it's a pound with the box. So let's open it. Okay, little Chinese box. Pretty much what we expect. And sometimes a little more because most of the time they only come in a bag. It says Glock without the real logo with some Chinese writing. It says power and science and education mode. Okay, wait a bit. Science and education mode. I get this part where education mode you want to show your you want to show a young one how to properly use a firearm. I guess this could be a tool to explain some of the part maybe, but the science part not sure. Fourteen plus. 14 plus there may be some performance out of it i have my trusty chronograph and we're gonna have a good laugh and test it <laughs> okay uh yeah this is four five six seven eight nine ten ah, there is more To their defense, the shell look like they break, they, they break off those little plastic thing easy and they don't leave that much residue on. I can remove with my nail, which is good. Okay, I'm not even sure there's enough ammo to fill everything, but we're gonna see. Okay. Okay. This is really tiny. This is like a big foam BBs almost. Let's take an eye on it. I want to check that thing. What? I'm always really kind of cheap. It's the head is kind of hard. I'm gonna check that out. And those are spare ammo. I would have preferred to have only pack like that. Yeah, there is lost material, but. Yeah, the dolls look almost better. Okay. Uh, ooh, silent. It's not a silencer. It's a silencer. <laughs> it's not a silencer. It's a si it's a silencer. Superior performance. It's a silencer suppressor, five point five six millimeter, and this is a Glock copy of a. Uh, what, 19, 9 by 19, something like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, this is lightweight. And this is, ha. Oh, this is almost garbage. But this is, is this the real Glock logo? I think it's the real Glock logo. A Glock 18. This is very close. The Austria marking, the nine by the nine by nineteen marking, the red metallic paint is chipping everywhere. This thing is scratch as hell. This button doesn't do anything. This is oh the magra oh pretty smooth. At least we got that. Oh, and the mag is thin. Let's be careful with it. Oh, and it's returned by itself. So that's a thing. There is no power whatsoever in there. No real resistance on the slide. And don't be fooled. This part here, it's a cheap 
aluminium foil sticker. Yeah, that is installed there to make you believe there is a metal part there. This thing flooded Facebook like two weeks ago. And when someone suggested to send one to me, I said, yeah, why not? I want to try that. He didn't guarantee the Glock or 45 uh, 1911, but ah, I had the Glock. It is too much of real steel. It is exactly a replica. I mean, you go with that in a park and you will get arrested for having a fake weapon. This is something to stay indoor completely. Like, unless you're in a private field somewhere, you will not take this outside of your home because the only colorful part on this thing is the slide and I can guarantee you there is real Glock in the world with red slide on them. The sound is cool. Let's try it out. My fast forward this part a bit, it's gonna be long. In that package you have the two magazine, 16 shell, 20 of those little foam bullets, the Glock replica itself, and the silencer. <laughs> Let's try that thing on the chronograph. Okay, you really need to push them in. All the way. Oh, really? So for this little toy to fire, you really need to shove the ammo inside. Hmm. Otherwise, it's not going in the magazine. Interesting. Those ammo are all crooked with misplaced head. So take your bet. What kind of FPS are we going to have on it? 10? 20? I can't imagine below 10. I don't even want to think about... Oh my god, this is rough. This magazine... Is it going to hold with all the tension on the spring? 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the last one. Is there an eight? No, nope, the eight one doesn't fit. So, uh, this is a weird thing. Okay, let's try putting in one in. Okay, so when you cock, it brings the little casing in and it pushes it in. Almost like a real weapon. Not sure I like this gimmick, the way it works. But, okay, so take your bet. Take a pause, write it in the comment. How, how fast do you think this blaster replica Glock can shoot? Go. Now let's find out. It didn't fire. And the ammo didn't left the casing. Because this one is all crooked. Okay, so one down. So what's your bet on this little poop? Very weak sound? That's a 53. That's great. I forgot about the shell ejecting thing. Worked great for this. A 48? Okay, just for this shell ejecting thing, this is a fun little toy. 56? 61? Let me just go get that bullet. I can call it a bullet, it's not even a dart. 
Okay, this was a crooked one, and it went out the shell pretty, pretty easy. Is it? This thing is leaking lube from everywhere. Not even sure why. I'll need to wipe it down a bit because this thing is just spewing lubricant everywhere. There must be too much lube inside of this thing. Oops, I forgot. And then and there's one left. A 59. Okay, uh, it feel like garbage, to be honest. This is quite cheap, but it has a toy. Yeah, I guess for plinking inside the house, it have its utility. I mean, we have some bad ammo. Can I retry this one that didn't come out at first? so this time it came out but that shell ejecting thing it's very very fun oh that's great we could just cycle through all the shell in one little motion okay this does not deserve a fire test I'm telling you uh, I have a couch in front of my table and it's all the all the little uh, foam bullet thing, foam, not even dart, are staying on the couch, not bouncing, not going anywhere. So this thing will shoot, what, 12, maybe 12 foot, 12, 13 feet in front of you, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty small. That's where the lubricant comes from. There is a lot. There is really a lot on this thing. But, like I said, the paint is not even deep enough to cover everything. And this thing can get you into trouble. Hmm. This thing worked, but that's pretty much it. There is nothing, I, nothing good besides... It's a small replica. It might be a good tool for uh, children education. The action is too much like the real thing i'm telling you but it's too cheap this is very very cheap it's all it's always it's already here uh, splitting up in the middle this is cheap aluminum foil uh, unless you really really need this in your life stay away from it that's it for this video in the meantime you can always follow me on facebook and instagram at that old nerve guy Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content, don't forget to hit that bell to stay notified for my latest video, and don't forget to go and put your comment down on my 1000 subscriber video for the giveaway. This was Dave Fatag, see you next time, bye.